Welcome to another Nantucket vlog, my favorite place in the world besides Texas, obviously. I'm listening to a podcast, Working Hard, Hardly Working. Why is it not pausing? It's the first time I've listened to this podcast. Today is Thursday. We got here Sunday. Um, it's the first time my family has been in Nantucket. I'm just here with my mom. No, I'm not. I'm here with my dad and my sister. And then Wyatt, Maddie's boyfriend, got in last night. Molly is taking the ferry in today, and it's going to be a really fun weekend. Um, we've been here all week, and I've just really been staying in my routine. I've been running, in case anyone was wondering. Yes, I've been running. Thank you guys for asking, and if you need to ask again, yes, I have been running. So, anyways, we had my cousin's uh, wedding this weekend. I get a blowout. I typically wash my hair like once a week, and we don't have any hair tools here, so I'm going to get a blowout, which um, I, I know is not out of the ordinary. I mean, I do get blowouts a lot, don't get me wrong. It's like always when I'm filming, and then it makes it worse, you know? I'm like forgetting RJ Miller. I'm going to RJ Miller. It's so close. The best part about Nantucket is that you can just get around the island pretty much on your own within one day of being there. I'm loving my Nantucket era. Like, I look like I belong here. Minus maybe, you know, the tourist hat, but like other than that, people wear these hats anyway, so it's fine. Marcus King's new album is everything. You really need to go listen to it. I'm obsessed with his wife, Riley. I love her so much. We like talk on Instagram all the time and I literally, am, I'm obsessed with her. And this album is my album of the year, 2024. For me and for the girlies, it's the album of the year, Marcus King, all right? Get with it, it's called Mood Swings. Get up to date, learn the lyrics. Like, we need to be, we need to be on this wave. Oh, also, look at my cute little Cezanne bag. Can you tell I haven't vlogged in a couple of days? It fits everything. My vlog camera, my dinner cards, which are out now. Um, actually, there might be a whole huge restock by the time y'all are watching this. My Kindle, which I'm reading, Swan Song, Ellen Hildebrand's last Nantucket novel, where she's like retiring from Nantucket novels. Um, and then I sold a bunch of lip product. But by the way, before I get onto that subject, my lip lab stuff, do you have a lip lab near you? You need to go and you need to go get a lipstick and you need to get a lip gloss. I'm almost out, so I have to go back. And I think they save what you got there. So if you guys want to ask what I got, like maybe they'll show you my like record or whatever, but, and get the sugar cookie scent in the lip gloss. Thank me later. It's the best stuff ever. I have used nothing besides that since going there. And then my Mimeo card case, little what's in my bag, if you will. Ellen Hildebrand. It's her last Nantucket novel. And it's just so sweet that I'm here to read it. It's not out yet I think it's out in June but since I'm such a serious reader some might say a scholar if you will I got it early but what are, what are other things people call smart people mm, I've heard professional student before I'm not that what's the word I'm looking for I don't know that really shows you you know fuck it who cares anyways off to get my blowout and read my Alan Hildebrand novel this is where I belong I will be summering here like I have to I don't have a choice I'm getting my dad on board too so the whole family will come we'll see Alright y'all, blowout is done. I haven't worn my hair down literally all week. It's been so nice because I haven't even like gotten ready all week. I'm wearing blush, but that's pretty much it. I'm gonna go pick up my family. We're gonna go to breakfast and then Molly will be here very soon. to go to Island Kitchen, but it had us going all around the island. I said, found it. the dock is literally right here. I was a little confused. Wow, how was your ferry? Oh, Wyatt can't open that. Oh. Uh, Wyatt. Where do we think that, oh, it's because it was in drive. Wow, we were moving so fast. Were you on the fast one? Yeah, the high speed one. It's a little scary. Yeah, I know, at first I was like, wait, we're going so slow, this isn't even fast, but then he really picked it up. And then you, then he was going quick. Yeah. He got there really fast. Yeah. Yeah. And there's so many people, like, there was like, Maybe like four a lot of things open this week, right. and so I think that that's why. Okay, everyone, say hello to the vlog. We've got Molly, we've got Wyatt, and we've got Maddie. There she is.
cover every Wednesday or Thursday. Ellen does a book signing out here at noon. Noon to what? Thank you. Okay, Molly and I, we had some lunch with Maddie and Wyatt. They're driving back, but we're staying in the town. Well, we're actually, I don't even know if I've said this at all. We're staying about like a four minute, eh, like a 10 minute walk from town. But Molly has arrived today, so we obviously have to go to Eric Wilson immediately. I need to get a needlepoint. Yes. And don't worry, we're gonna be back in about two hours anyways for their stitch club tonight. So we're very excited. We got our lemon trust press drinks. I tried to go get my favorite iced dirty chai from Born and Bread, but it closes at 3 and we got there at 3.17. I had a margarita, so I just we'll lost track of time. We'll get it in the morning. And we have made it. All right, y'all, we're back from Erica Wilson. A nice little, little YouTube. What is that even called? I don't even know. I don't know. <laughs> this? You're saying like, what is this? Called? No, like when you put your hand behind oh, the. Um. Oh my god. Close. Like a. But there's a. Yeah, but I don't know. No break. Like a, Neither of like that. Yeah. An OG YouTube term for it, but. It is so stunning. I really like that. Really excited to get started on this, guys. <laughs> <laughs> and then I got this one. And then yesterday I got this one, which I'm so excited for because you know me and my roosters. So I think this one's really cute. But I'm working on my holiday one. Let me show you. Okay, so here's my stitches bag. Oh, oh no. And here is the holiday cottage that I've been working on. It's Rose Hill. You can kind of see that right here. Molly and I are going to stitch for the next hour. And then we're going to walk to Stitch Club. It's raining on the island. It's a very cozy weekend. Dad, you have yours. My dad has one too. The Steelers. I love that. He's busy at work today. Literal work. No, <laughs> yeah. not needle point. No, he's <laughs> actually working. <Yeah. laughs> Guys, we did take a little stitch break just to walk back to town for Stitch Club. Much so, needed stitch much needed stitch break. We made it to Stitch Club. We're the first people here. It's so fabulous. All right, we just left Stitch Club. It was amazing. It was everything really of the sort. Amazing time. We were here with all the locals. Uh, we met the town clerk. We got a lot of needlepoint tea. I mean, it was everything. I mean, it was everything. It was really everything. Like it was. Oh, I loved it. I don't think that there was anyone even close to maybe thirty years. No, and they were definitely really confused by us. But we just were like, anyways. What do they keep honking at? That's the same truck as earlier. No. I think they're cat calling. I think this is a cabby. So stunning. Look at that. From Island Kitchen, the like spicy scramble. It's very good. Um, it's pouring right now. So yes. Maddie and Wyatt, here is your um oh my coffee. Ice latte. Vanilla latte. These are Danielle's favorites. That's what I was just gonna say. Yeah, it's like in it's handlebar cafe, Danny, if you're watching. Uh -huh. So updates on the entire trip. Stitch Club last night was fabulous. It was everything we needed. <laughs> my dad, my sister, and Wyatt, they did bingo at Kitty's and they had a great time. It's pouring today. It's actually been really beautiful weather, like earlier this week, which this is like not the not the best weather. It's or the cozy, best month for weather. It's very cozy. Um, so we're just having a little needle pointing morning to law and order that's what we did last night to a little coffee got straight to needlepoint you guys know how we are these days so i just feel like i'll send it on you 
So cute. Oh, we have to show them your oh, yeah. new... My, the haul of whatever. Yes. yes. And this is my update on the holiday. I and really just have the backing. Sun. This is what mine looks like. Can you guys It looks see? so pretty. It's so you, Molly. Thanks, Kenz. I'm almost like... I'm getting close to being done with the... The, the navy. navy. And then I can move on to the blue, which will be fun. You'll have that done, like, really soon, honestly. I know. I'm making major progress. Major progress. <laughs> I'm hoping that today, maybe this morning, I have enough time to get the backing done. We'll figure it out. We'll see. I finished all the house. But today is our cozy rot day, which mm -hmm. is our favorite days to have. Obsessed. Essential. They're very important to us. Um, and then we're going to head over to the meat and fish market later. We're going to cook dinner for everyone. We were going to go to the Whaling Museum today, but oh, yeah. it said it's very difficult to even get in the car. Oh, no, I have <laughs> Why it said, like, opening the car door was... Because it's so windy. And why it's, like, big, so... Mm -hmm. um, we could also do that, like, Sunday anyways, but they just really want to go to the Whaling Museum. Tomorrow, it's nice weather, so we'll get up. Maybe we'll go on a run. Mm -hmm. Go to Born and Bread. Mm -hmm. um, go to Cisco. Go out the box, for sure. Mm. Unless we get, like, a second win and we want to go tonight. You never know. Probably not. It but might be busy because, like, people yeah. have nothing to do. Yeah, that's so true. And maybe we'll, like, meet the loves of our lives. And move there. I need to find a man who's, like, a Texas meets Nantucket man. Like, yeah. also... That's a very... Very difficult. Niche. Yeah. <laughs> very niche is the word. <laughs> well, here's the thing. There's a lot more people in Texas that come to Nantucket mm -hmm. than you would expect. Mm -hmm. And I know that because when I wear my uh, box crew or my box uh, trucker, mm -hmm. when I'm on the Katy Trail in Dallas, so many people are like, oh my God, I love the box. No way. So a lot more people than you would think. Wow. And then I always really look around on my flight home uh -huh. just to see what's going yeah. on. And you know, everyone's over the age of 60, I would say, for the most part. I have one that friend. Could work. Yeah, it could work actually. <laughs> needle pointing, needle pointing in Law and Order. It's underrated. not talked about enough. <laughs> it's really underrated. <laughs> it's really <laughs> underrated. So we're just experiencing some peace this morning, and we'll try later. It's now what 2 2 12, yes. 2 12. We had an amazing rainy morning in. Oh, oh, that was so bad. We had an amazing rainy morning in with our needle pointing. We are on season one, episode Sorry, nine. I'm a selfie. <laughs> <laughs> We're on season one, episode nine of Law and Order. Order. I, I by the way, I haven't paid attention to, enough to one single episode to know what happened. But I do no, want to rewatch it because every time wrong. an episode starts, I'm like, wait, what was the original murder? Like, <laughs> yeah, like I get what confused. was the start of the case? Like, I have no idea. But and then also, like, we'll just happen to remember something we were supposed to tell the other person. Yes. So then, like, the gossip. This is so on brand. This is the song that comes out of my car. Oh, I love that. It's my only iTunes song because I made it my alarm. Oh, that's cute. But it's not good to have as an alarm because eventually it just, it's just like oh, a it triggering. You? Yeah, yeah, you're supposed to have like a happy alarm, not the like. Mm -mm. Yeah. Um, so anyways, we are going to sorry, the meat sorry. and fish market, but first we're going to go to Born and Bread to get some ice dirty chais. Yes, They're I so good. We should, by the way, because we have the bread ins, mm -hmm. make croutons. And like a salad? And a salad. It's a little weird of a vibe for what we're going for. We don't even know what we're going for, but you yeah, know what? We don't know yet. The meat and fish market is going to speak to us. Absolutely. Oh, so you could just let me through. Mm -hmm. Thank you, thank you. Mm -hmm. Um, it's really cozy here. I'm feeling like such a local. Wow, the weather days. cleared up too. At least it's not downpouring rain or anything. Yeah, <laughs> and the houses, like all, most of the houses here are like really old. So when it storms or when it's so windy, like it felt like it we shakes. were gonna, yeah. yeah, I felt like maybe my room. The roof was gonna just yeah. fall away. <laughs> my room was gonna end up on like Main Street or something, you know? It was really, we were in for a treat there. But anyways, off to get our ice dirty chais. I have my Nancy, one of my Nancy. Oh, Stormy Weather. <gasps> Nancy Myers playlist, perfect. perfect. Yes, exactly. Exactly. It's looking a little cold over there. Uh -huh. And 
we're back. Cute. <laughs> And oh my god, no, they're so cute. No, but I need to. I actually use my cookbooks too, so I never feel bad about buying them. I mean, I have way more than needed, but yes, it's I like pick my favorites and then I put it in the recipe journal. But like, it's nice to have the books because you're not on technology. Like, baking wisdom. I'm not really a baker though, you are. I'm trying to get into it, you're trying to get into it. Like mathematical. I know that's what it's exact yeah. guys. She baked the craziest cake for Easter. It was insane I don't even did you even post it? Yeah, I posted one story people went crazy. That was like my most engaged story I think <laughs> ever like, There was so many likes on it. Wait, look at this one. Oh, oh, wait crazy. love and grief and growing things a year of real. Is that crazy? Wait, oh, that's so wait that's so I know Wait, like she's so me <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good for you too. The core of an onion. Oh, you're yes, I am. Yeah. Table books, gardening books, cookbooks, craft books, everything. Oh, and Nantucket at Christmas. Oh, so cute. Like, oh, and Nantucket books. So it literally couldn't be more at my alley. It's all the houses on Nantucket. So cute. Um, this is Mitchell's where we were yesterday. But look at the books that I'm getting. The first one, Nantucket window boxes. I think you guys probably saw that when I was vlogging. Um, this one looks cute. It's just this open house cookbook nantucket cookbook and then this one is crazy this is the first one that i saw it was also the cutest but immediately i saw it and it's the year of miracles recipe about love grief and growing things which has been you know my 2024 so less of the miracles <laughs> more of the you know more of the growing things and grief and recipes but this is just so cute so i'm getting this it's a year in the kitchen in the garden year of seedlings and pancakes you're falling in love. Let's all uh, be good. Very cute. Anyways, right up my alley. So I'm gonna get these. I got no gardening books here would really do me any good unless it was just for inspo. <laughs> it's a bit of a different zone. I am doing hydrangeas around the pool though. It's very shaded. Because I'll, I'll use this one again tomorrow, hopefully. Got ready, we're gonna do a little happy hour downstairs and then we're going to dinner. We switched plans, so Molly and I are just making a cute little happy hour and we're going out tonight because I figured where we're going somewhere is opening. Oh my gosh, I'm getting a little tired for someone who literally needle pointed from bed most of the day. We're obviously bringing dinner carts, so cute. Our very cute happy hour is coming along. We have some fresh berries, some fresh raspberries. It's looking quite stunning. What is this, by the way? Just crab dip? Oh, no, it's yummy. roasted red pepper. Let me see, what's I don't even, I think oh. I threw it away. <laughs> but it was really good from the meat and seafood market. Oh, it's so much like your mom right yeah, now. Dog. 
Dad, do you want to get in the shot? Ready? Actually, not like that. Oh, it's a pretty cool shot. Have you heard back as often yet? No. What he said? Well, she said. I think we're setting Molly up with my cousin right now. Hey, he said, want to get married. I knew he was going to say that. He didn't say want to get married. Are you guys ready for your three cheese shots? Quiet. Quiet. Cheers. 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 Everyone. Oh. Oh, yeah. I'll be out there. It's our last day, it's Saturday. Today we're going to Cisco. We're going to the Whaling Museum. <laughs> the way you walk. Yeah. The house is a little short for Wyatt. Um, where else are we going? Do you want to do a little cute little outfit of the day? Nope. Did you say yep or nope? Yeah. Here's little Madison. Converse. Cute. Cotton on. This is. Oh, wow, that's cute. Skims off brand, and it's so much better, actually. And this is mm -hmm. my brother's jacket. Oh, and my bestie's purse. Oh. <laughs> cute. Cute. Here's what I'm wearing a reiteration of like everything I've been wearing all week J. Crew sweater, Skims top, Abercrombie pants, New Balances. I'm wearing these literally every day. And this. Oh, and guys, look at Molly's new sweater. She got a crazy oh. deal on. Guys, this is from Abercrombie. It was originally $80, and then it was on sale for $45, and then it was an, on top of that sale, it was on sale for $23, so. Crazy, and then she got really cute new Birkenstocks, too, and I want to get oh, them. Oh, yeah. These are actually, I love they're that actually color. so comfortable, too. They'd be really good for me to, well, I guess maybe not that color for yard work, but just like my yeah. everyday slides, because yeah, exactly. I don't leave my house much, but I do leave to go to my yard. Me, going to the mailroom. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> We're going to the Whaling Museum. It's giving Emily Gilmore in Year in the Life. Guys, I have to address the rumors. There are some people speculating that it might be a local here. And, well, but maybe. Believe it or not. <laughs> believe it or not, I actually live in Texas. I don't live, I actually am not. Technically, summer here? No, I'm technically speaking, I'm not a local. Spiritually but, speaking, yeah, kind of, yeah. Knowledge-wise, you are. Yes, knowledge-wise, I truly am. And that is something that I'll say yes. And you know what? One day, one day we'll be walking past Juice Bar, it'll be summer and it'll be open, and they'll have the best ice cream you've ever had. Well, I kind of like Jack and Charlie's better, but the best ice cream you've ever had. Then we'll be stopping in, all the kids will be on the bikes, High Rangers will be everywhere, wow. Nancy yeah, Myers really playlist on, yeah. and I'll be driving with my children in strollers, and Fitz, Fitz will be there. Great show. It's vintage store in town. It's really cute. They're having a little clearance sale right now, and I just got, I'll show you all. I'm getting great books this week, but I've been collecting a bunch of like old vintage books just for decor and everything. All right, I have a hefty. Better Home and Gardens, I know. It's gonna be heavy. Salad book, it was literally a dollar, but I just thought it looked cute for my house, so. Guys, it's happened again where they assumed I bought my book. She's like, oh my God, that's so good for Daffodil Weekend. You can make all of your like salads for Daffodil Weekend. And I was like, yes, I can. <laughs> I will. Daffodil Week is the end of April, by the way. So, we're having a really good day. The weather's nice, a bit chilly. We have sweaters on. Isn't it just so cute? One dollar. Wow. How crazy is that? Best dollar you probably spent in a long time. Yeah, best dollar I've ever spent. <laughs> we're at the observation deck on top of the Whaling Museum. Oh, I'm so glad we found out about this. This is pretty cool. Learning so much. We're being a bit of scholars, if you will. It's so cute.
Max. Cheers. white sweater oh yeah yeah, it's, yeah, it's, yeah you might as well it's the last night you have to go crazy i know i didn't even wear my Cezanne stuff i literally <laughs> lived in my drink her sweaters and my whatever uh -huh. so guys we had a really crazy afternoon at cisco like it was so chill when we so first got there and, and then, then things took a turn Things took a turn, and my dad. It got crazy. We met this couple next to us that's from St. Louis. That's I, know, you, I was, I wasn't from. even like with you. You like, guys were checked out at this point. My honestly, dad and you guys I checked in. Maybe 15 minutes into this outing, my phone died. So I She's was been off the grid. I was off the grid. I had no idea what was going on in the world. I had to ask people like, has anybody posted anything crazy? She, like, she has well, anything happened? By the way, guys, like the. OJ Simpson died like a couple days ago the day that she came in and she got here and it was like news literally everywhere It's OJ Simpson, right? And I'm like, well, yeah, I mean OJ Simpson. Molly had no idea. I was like, what? No, like I don't know who you follow. And I said, again, like, <laughs> since he's died, I have not seen not one and it's single like, post. Oh my feed. No, it's, it's been nowhere I was on one my more feed. day. I know. You know. I should have come earlier. I know. I know. What was I thinking? I know. It's sad. But Anyways, it's okay because she's gonna come to Dallas very soon with <laughs> lots of plans. We are about to go. Yes. We're gonna go to dinner, but here's my idea. I'm gonna pop my hat on later just to make this easier. So I'm gonna attach my hat to the bag. We we're supposed to pack in this time, but like guys, my dad like doesn't really drink much and he's really having a time. So. No, he's hilarious right now. He's really funny right now. He said a joke about Kenzie and it just, it almost had me in tears. <laughs> I need more of that. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be crazy. <laughs> so, anyways, here's the outfit. I mean, the other sweater looks better. Oh, I think. we're matching. But it's okay, right? Do you think no, the other sweater looks better than this one? Um, because this was bigger. I kind of like the other one more. It was more cohesive. Sorry. Okay. Change it. Changing it. The longer you take, the longer my phone charges. So you might have to go back to the white one after this. I might have to. <laughs> yes. Yes. I mean, to try the other ones on. Let's see here. Where is this? These are both from J. Crew. Yeah, but I got I think the white one in a bigger size. This size is a size. It doesn't say, but I think a small. I think that one's a medium. Mm -hmm. But I think I should have. You're so preppy. No, thank you. You're welcome. I know. <laughs> You're welcome. My and my style really started to evolve when I came here for the first time. Yeah, that's, that's when, when I started, started maturing started and I stopped mm -hmm. dressing like I was going to the club. Yeah, right, Fashion Nova. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, I never dressed like I was really I, I <laughs> like I went to the clubs, but you know what I mean. I actually think that Fashion Nova has great jeans. By the way, I actually really like Fashion Nova. No, I actually but, like they have great jeans. Like, yeah, like I, in I, shorts. I wasn't, yeah, like, I just feel like at a certain point in your 20s, you... Uh, when you turn 25 and your brain fully develops is when mm -hmm. maybe you start dressing like a little bit more like timeless. Yeah, classy. Yeah, traditional, you know. Cheers. Listen up, guys. We are at Brother. Oh, okay. Please don't hit my earring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She keeps grabbing my earring and like hitting it into my head. My actual earrings that I'm obsessed with, which is really rude. We are at Brotherhood of Thieves, which has been our favorite place to be. Um, there are technically other places that have opened in the past week, but we just look in here. So. <laughs> Anyways, we have a special martini. Maddie will leave me alone. It's like if Maddie, as the younger sister, could sew herself to my skin, she would. Like a Siamese twin, that's like ideal for her. Seriously, like if it is out of control. Like I'm so glad that Wyatt, honestly, Wyatt is like my savior because it's like less on me, more on him. But I'm somehow still here. They go like this. Do it. Molly Bale, Molly Bailey. Wyatt, how are you? Can I, can I tell them how to properly order an espresso martini? No, let's hear from Wyatt first. Well, you know, it's pretty good out here. We got a bunch of friends meeting up later at the bar. Uh, Wait, Dad, how do you feel about Cisco? About who? Cisco. Cisco was great. You have anything else to say? I'm trying to FaceTime Austin. Oh, he's so key, like Molly might be family soon. <laughs> and my little sister Maddie Piper, she might as well be at Harvard. I could have she is a she could have been into Harvard. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, I think that I really think that Molly and 
I think it was Renge. Yeah, that's I think so. Who wouldn't want to be family with us? I know. Who wouldn't want to be? I know. That's one of the major perks of all of this. I don't have enough time to do all of my hobbies. So what has really, you know, suffered is my social life. And you know, for obvious reasons, I haven't really been leaving my house much the past couple of months and I've been very depressed. So I have been spending a lot of time doing hobbies. And you know, before that, even before I had, you know, all the extra ones that I've added, I've always been into them. And by always, I mean, since, you know, I told you guys when I wanted to start hobbies and yeah, they've really just done something for me and not just any hobbies, it's grandma hobbies, okay? The grandmas are onto something, like they really know what they're talking about. 